All right, so we're back with a brand new knife ability test video. It's been a couple of days. Oh God, that was loud. <laughs> One second. We got to make that a bit more quiet. That was very, very loud. So we're finally back. Hopefully now it's not as loud. It's still extremely loud. Okay, we're definitely not going to use the AWP for today's video. That's for sure. Otherwise, I'm probably going to lose my hearing ability. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, so we're finally back with a brand new knife ability test video. And you probably already read today's title. We're once again back with quote unquote rare items. I'm not really too sure whether or not these are rare, but we're focusing on the Halloween items from 2019. So these are pretty nice. They're, I guess, a bit rare if you want to say it like that. But I feel like a lot of people probably still have them. So the first one we have is the Reaper knife from Halloween of 2019. As you can see, don't fear the Reaper. I have around 2000 kills with this one, and it has a pretty awesome design in my opinion. So definitely going to be using that one. We of course also have the bone knife from 2019 and then we also have of course the tombstoner from 2019. These also have I believe a 2020 version of tombstoner and the bone knife. Not entirely sure about the reaper knife. I'm not entirely sure if this one was re-released in 2020 as well but the other two definitely have another version so that's pretty cool. And a weapon I haven't seen too many people talk about, of course, being the Spook Shot, which is also from Halloween of 2019. This was one of the more affordable items during that time period. I think this one was actually really cheap with 10 gems being the price right here. And then, of course, you also had, like I said, the Tombstoner and, of course, the Bone Knife, which also were not too expensive either. So the Tombstoner was 200 gems back then. And, of course, the Bone Knife, I think, was like 25, if I'm not completely mistaken. Did we just went past that one? Ah, uh, no, there it is. <laughs> okay, I'm just a bit blind. Yeah, 25 gems. And, of course, the Reaper knife being the most expensive one at a thousand gems the old price of course so pretty nice items for today's video we're gonna start of course with the bone knife alongside with the spook shot the spook shot has its own kill effect which is pretty cool it has a unique kind of kill effect which i really do like it has a pumpkin which spawns and also a very nice evil laugh so that's pretty fun to be honest i'm not the best with the spook shot but we're gonna give it our best try so yeah let's see how we can do in today's video and we're using spam knife so i'm not really too sure about this one um i feel like most people are probably gonna start leaving so we should most likely just switch to something else there we go so this is the bone knife it has a pretty cool kill effect turns people into skeletons has some pretty nice sounds as well so i think we should definitely take a listen to that one as well i mean it sounds pretty nice okay let's take a listen to the spook shot there we go i'm not sure if you guys heard that i hope you heard that <laughs> not really too sure and that was very loud uh, that was a scenic knife <laughs> That one is always really, really loud. Okay, there we go. Maybe we can get another kill now. Okay, he's AFK. No. There we go. I really like the sound of this one. Bone knife, really nice sound. And the same for the tombstoner as well. They have some really great sounds in my opinion. So these are definitely some of my favorite knives. And nowadays they're definitely more expensive than 25 gems, 200 gems, and 1000 gems. The reaper knife as an example was sometimes I think over 100,000 gems in value, which is pretty insane. Um, but I think it's not that valuable anymore. I'm not really too sure. I'm not sure about value list and anything like that. So... Apologies in advance, I have no clue. I haven't really checked any of those in forever because there's no trading. So there's no real point in like checking the value list to be honest. So yeah, I think these are still pretty cool though, especially the 2019 versions. I'm not entirely sure if we had a Halloween event prior to that, but these are some pretty nice knives in my opinion and I'm very glad I have them. Let's switch to the next knife already. This video is most likely going to be quite short, but I hope you guys still enjoy it. I've been recently playing a lot more Roblox games again, so I think that's pretty nice as well. On the knife, we have a pretty cool design right here, rest in pieces, and then of course a little skeleton dancing there, um, which is only visible on one side, that's kind of interesting. Never noticed that before. I've played this game for like six years at this point and I've never noticed that. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, I guess you learn something new every day, right? Isn't that how the saying goes? Load there. And we got the kill. That's pretty nice. So this one turns people into tombstones. That's why it's called the tombstoner. And let's see if we can maybe hear the sound. So yeah, that, that's the sound. I hope you guys can hear that. It's a pretty nice sound as well. I think it's quite satisfying, to be honest. So once again, I would say one of my favorite knives in the game. So the Halloween collection is definitely pretty awesome. And I actually use them quite a lot. Oh, hello there. There we go. So we actually managed to get them. That's pretty nice. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was pretty close. He almost got us, as you see with the arrow there. Oh no, this is this is going to be kind of chaotic. Oh, there we go. We got him. Very nice. Hello there. I'm very sorry. I'm basically just spawn camping them at this point. I feel really bad for this. Um, hello there. Oh no. <laughs> we terribly missed on that one. Oh no, someone is here. Oh no, that's not good. There we go. Oh, hello. You're trying to stab me? I don't approve of that. Oh, uh, no. There we go. Very nice. We're up to a 10 kill streak by camping, of course. <laughs> That's how I always reach that. <laughs> 
pro knife ability test player here. The only reason I'm good is because I'm camping. Oh, I think we're gonna die here. Hello? Oh god. <laughs> we didn't even see him, damn. So, we got absolutely destroyed there, and now we're back to zero. <laughs> A zero streak. Hello there, buddy. What's up, man? Thank you very much for the kill. Oh god. I don't approve of that. Oh, there we go. That was pretty close. That was very, very close. A lot of people are leaving the server. I'm not really too sure why. We're not using spam knife today. It always happens. I'm not really too sure why. Oh, hello there. Ooh, that was very close. Back to an eight kill streak. That's pretty nice. Um, hello there, buddy. Thank you very much. And final kill. There we go. We're back to a 10 kill streak. That's how we like it. Hello there and hello there. Thank you. As you can see, it's a pretty cool kill effect. It has a lot of variety with different tombstone designs, which I think is super cool. So it's not always the same tombstone design. I'm not entirely sure if it says anything on the tombstone. I've actually never checked that. Um, so that's a bit unfortunate. Oh, we got a first person kill. Okay, so there's nothing on the tombstones, which is kind of sad, but I don't know. It's fine, I guess. It would have just been even better imagine there was the username on the tombstone along with a rest in peace. I think that would be even more toxic. <laughs> that would make it even better, I think. Or imagine like a random text saying like, oh, you died because you're bad. Something toxic. I don't know why I think about that right now. <laughs> but it would be kind of funny, not gonna lie. It would be kind of funny. Okay, so let's get one more kill and then we're gonna switch to the final knife for today's video. We also got a few kills with the spook shot, which is pretty cool to be honest. I really do like the spook shot. Oh, hello there. There we go. Okay, and that's the final one. Okay, never mind. There's a few more people here. Please <laughs> stop spawning right next to us. <laughs> Hello there. Oh god. Why is there so many people spawning here? Okay, I think we're just gonna do this. All right, there we go. Can we just go to the inventory really quickly? All right, there we go. And let's switch to the Reaper knife. There we go. So that's pretty nice. So this is the Reaper knife. Um, I think I have to disable really quickly the, the menacing effect. There we go. I think we lost the kill streak. <laughs> that's a bit unfortunate. So now we have the menacing effect turned off. So I can showcase you guys the knife a bit better. Oh god, first person? That's not my type of playstyle here for knife ability test. I am super bad in first person. It is very difficult to control in my opinion. Or I'm just really garbage. That could be the case as well. <laughs> Maybe that's the case. Oh, there we go. Can I just showcase the design really quickly? Maybe now? Alright, there we go. So this is how the design looks. It's pretty nice. It's a very cool design in my opinion. And I really like it, so... Maybe let's take a closer look like this. There we go. So you can see it has a bed design right there, which is very creative. It has it has a pretty cool handle as well, to be honest, and the bed wing. So a pretty awesome and very creative knife, in my opinion. I really like the design. And it kind of matches well with... Oh, I'm not wearing the bed necklace that I've made. One second. And it kind of goes well with my bed necklace, as you can see. Um, I think I'm wearing the wrong one. <laughs> this is the 3.0 version. Well, you can see it kind of matches, right? So that's pretty cool. Anyway, so now let's move on and let's actually get a few kills. And then we're going to call it a day for today. It was definitely quite a fun episode, in my opinion. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did as well. That's the most important part, of course. So yeah, definitely some very nice Halloween items. Like I said, these are some of my favorite knives in the game. I think they just look really awesome and they have a pretty cool design and also some pretty nice effects. There are some of the, I would say, more creative items with like the kill effects and everything so like i said some of my favorite knives in the game this person has now our knife which is pretty cool very nice to see that people like them as well so yeah overall i'm very glad that i have them i think they're pretty amazing and i hope you enjoyed this type of video if you want to see more videos like this where i just showcase some knives or something else feel free to leave a comment down below would really like to hear some feedback for this type of video the previous one did extremely well so thank you guys so much for the support on it i really appreciate it and i would say we're gonna call it a day here let's maybe get a few more kills and then of course end today's episode. I think this one is quite long already. So there we go, first kill, very nice. Second one, and unfortunately we didn't get both of them, so that's a bit unfortunate. I think there's someone right here, hello. Maybe the person with explosive knife, oh god. That was a bit weird. <laughs> you can see the effect, by the way, is a bit similar to the hell knife, I think it's called, so that's quite nice. It's a pretty cool effect in my opinion. A lot of players just left the server, that's a bit unfortunate. And as you can see with the disrespect mechanic, you can also interact with the wrecked dolls, so that's pretty fire. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> that was a bit of a jump scare. And the final one, there we go. Very nice. So thank you all so much for watching today's episode. Feel free to leave a comment down below what other knives or revolvers you would like to see for a future video. Have a wonderful day, stay safe, and most importantly, stay hydrated. Don't forget to drink some water. It's very important. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.